Hey everyone, it's time for more Star Trek Online. Our next duel is Blood of the Empire. Whoops. Close that. There's a, there is a report of a battle in the Norg system. If there's an enemy bold enough to attack that close to the Empire, it must be dealt with. Harshly. I'm calling all available ships to the Norg system to assist. Fight with honor. And, yep. the Empire. and we're, already, we're already here, so let's go in. At least I, I think that's how that's pronounced. Norg. <laughs> I know it's not Nog. But whatever. And uh, yeah, this is the next uh, set of storylines that we'll be doing. We finished the, we finished the fed ones with the Federation and the, the last KDF mission, if I'm not mistaken. Captain, there are reports of a group of ships in the area that are under heavy attack, but I'm not detecting weapons fire or signs of a battle. There are a group of objects on long-range scanners that are the right size and material construction to be our ships, but there are no energy readings or life signs. So what we need to do is go over here and inspect these, uh, these dills, these ships. There's nothing left of this battle group, and the computer can't determine who is responsible for this, uh, for this based upon weapon signatures. I'm detecting strange readings from up ahead near those large asteroids. There's a series of subspace rifts, but there are ships of unknown configuration coming through. Alright, oops, might help if I, might help if I turn up the deal, actually... Let's activate the cloak while we're at it. Hopefully once I scan it won't... I can't remember if scanning actually causes the cloak to deactivate. I guess we'll find out. Pfft. I chose the longest... That was real bright of me. I chose the longest, uh, longest one out here. Oh, crap. Uh... The fec the Fecklery. I thought they were just a story that the grandmothers tell the children. At least that would explain what happened to the Klingon battle group and why the computer couldn't determine their attackers. Let's show them how much we learned about battle since their time since their time and send them back to Greythor. Those porters look those portals look unstable, sir. A solid attack should cause them to collapse. Oh. Yeah, it might. Might help if I might help if I decloak. And yep, I have a I have a new torpedo on the front. I'm trying to remember what it's called. I think the Well, I'll look it up once I There we go, that takes care of them. Let's get rid yeah, let's get rid of the mine strike those, that would be nice. Sure if that's how that's been out. Feckler, I think it's called Feckler. Don't, don't quote me on that. I'm not, I'm not really too too smart pronouncing Klingon Klingon bills. Uh, yeah, but the torpedo, it's the Hopping torpedo I got from the uh, that you got from the. Uh, the Doomsday Weapon Mission. Though I can't remember if you actually still get it from the Doomsday Weapon. I don't exactly remember how I got it. I don't remember how exactly I got it on this character, though. Yeah, I know, that's... It's really kind of bright of me not to remember how to... How I got one of the weapons on my ship. But, oh well, what you gonna do? One thing I need to do is actually fill up that uh, engineering spot that I'm missing here with the uh, with the character. Activate the cloak and go find the next portal. 
It, of course, it's a, it's above me. All right. Swing around here. Tech portal and now we'll attack the ships. And my forward shield is down and I'm taking hits from mine. That's that's good. Problem is these guys Problem is these guys have cannons. Lots and lots of cannons. I am almost destroyed. That's good. Oh well, I took out one of I took out one of their ships, so that's good. Now I've almost taken out another one. Not entirely sure why my ship has slowed down there. Of course, mines. Swing around, hit him with the hopping torpedo. Which is also pretty nice because it actually does, like, I think, plasma damage? Take out that, take out that mine while I'm at it. Alright, that takes care of them. Now my ship is not exactly in great condition. Let's activate the cloak. Give my ship a little time to repair. And then we'll go and take a then we'll go and take on the next portal. Also give give my uh, buff uh, buff abilities a time to recharge. Alright, we are good to go, so let's go. Hold on a second, I want to bring up the chat and see what the NPC said. Ah, there it is. The Klingon Empire shall pay for their sins for, sins of its creator, Kalos. This world has been without the Fecklerie for too long, but our banishment has made us stronger. We have, we have looked upon the oceans of blood from the shore of Greythor and no longer feel fear. We have fought history's most dishonorable Klingons and prevailed. We have returned to your world to seek our rev revenge. Today may be a good die may be a good day to die, but not for you. Okay, so that's that's what they said. Anyways, let's go deal with this uh let's go deal with this last portal and then continue on with the mission. Alright, yeah, I can't, I can't really do much of anything right now while I'm being attacked by multiple ships. Alright, I've almost, I've almost got this one. Takes care of them. Swing around, hit him with a swing around, hit him with another torpedo. With a couple of torpedoes, as a matter of fact. Uh, 
Now this fight seems to be going a whole lot better. I was going to shoot multiple torpedoes there, but I guess not. Boom! Huh. Okay, I got a fully unlocked box for some reason. I think that they're... I'm not entirely sure, but I think they're redoing all the locked boxes. But I'm not entirely too sure. Captain! Command reports that the Fecklery vessels are approaching the homeworld and attacking ships in orbit. Our orders are to return the, to the Praxis Belt and the Kronos system and assist in their defense. So we're going to warp and assist assist uh, with the ships at Praxis. Which of course uh which of course was the moon that exploded in Star Trek VI because I think they were I think they were overmining it. Once, of course, the once, of course, the game loads. That is. The Fecklery have opened more portals in orbit of Kronos. They struck hard and fast, and look to have caught the homeworld defense network by surprise. We may be the last thing that stands between the uh, Fecklery and Kronos. Okay, we need to destroy them quickly before they have a chance to overwhelm our planetary defense grid. Cloak the... Cloak the ship. And... No. So, <laughs> sorry about that. No, I'm trying to detect the portal here again. Okay, yeah, there's more portals around here. That takes care of that one, but now we gotta deal with the ships. Care of, that takes care of him. Alright, these four shields down, so let's see about taking care of the. That works. Okay, swing around because I need to. Swing around because I. Got a Dominion lock box that time. Yeah, I think they're. I think for the anniversary deal, they're repeating all the lock boxes that they've they've released. I'm not totally too sure though. All right, that takes care of them. Let's go. Let's go and deal with the other portals. Actually, I'm not entirely too sure. I don't know if your shields can actually... I don't know if your shields can actually regenerate when a... Uh, don't know if your shields can actually regenerate while the, uh, the cloak is up. Yeah, they're, 
Yeah, those ships are distracted with the uh, other Klingon ships, so we are going to deal with these portals. We're detecting a group of Fecklery ships approaching the Orbital Command Station. That space station is essential to our defense of the entire system. We must stop the Fecklery before they occupy it. I've got word that a fleet is doing measures near Teo Dewa, headed back to Kronos at maximum warp. We just need to hold out a bit longer. That should be... That should be easy enough. Fire off the torpedoes. Now let's go take care of the... Uh, let's go help with the other ships.